Look, I happen to know how much that watch costs. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most expensive watches of all time. Look at my watch, cost a whole lot, so I thought you can't see a tick tock. For this list, we're looking at the priciest timepieces that have ever been sold as of the beginning of May 2023. All dollar amounts have been converted to US currency, and when appropriate, we've rounded up the price. What's the most you could imagine spending on a watch? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Patek Philippe Nautilus Reference 5711 1A 018. If you're asked to name a luxury watch brand, Patek is likely to be the first one that springs to mind. And for good reason. But I'm a jet. We kick off our list with a stunning piece from this Swiss company. Today is really an amazing day. In 2021, renowned New York auction house Philips sold this watch for $6.5 million, with revenue going to the Nature Conservancy. So what makes this one so special? Well, it has a striking blue dial. And it also bears the logo of another esteemed luxury brand, Tiffany & Co. Tiffany's? You mean the jewelry store? That's right. I'm crazy about Tiffany's. This is actually a bit of an underdog story, as the bidding began at $20,000, which was described by one source as, quote, laughable. Trust us when we say that you'll see Patek on this list again. Number 9. Patek Philippe Stainless Steel Reference 5016A-010 And when we say again, we mean right now. Mamma mia, here I go again. The benefits of this watch are right in its name. Though even with stainless steel, we'd want to do everything in our power to keep it safe. Excuse me, does that happen to be stainless steel? At only watch 2015 at Philips in Geneva, it took in $7.3 million, with proceeds going to Duchenne Muscular Dystrophy Research. One of its key features is its tourbillon, a component that keeps parts of the watch moving in order to help give it the most accurate readings possible. Is that a Vacheron? Patek Philippe tourbillon, a gift from the Prince of, uh... Oh, does it even matter? While some dispute how much of a difference this actually makes, there's no denying that it is a major factor in the overall price of top watches. Your watch, expensive? Very, your point? Number eight, Patek Philippe Gobi Milano Pink Gold Reference 2499. By this point, you should be used to hearing the name Patek in this video. But when they're making such impressive watches, how could they not dominate? Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts. The most recent addition to this list, this watch is gold in both design and function. The most expensive in the venerated 2499 series, this pink gold watch was made in 1957 and sold at Sotheby's in Hong Kong. Sotheby's? That's it. It was part of the Nevadian collector sale and took in $7.7 .7 million. Something that especially sets it apart is the Gobi Milano signature on the dial, referring to a renowned jewelry and watch retailer in Milan, Italy. Milan, darling, Milan. Number 7. Patek Philippe Two Crown World Time Reference 2523 Eurasia. At lucky number 7, we have a watch that also sold for $7.7 .7 million. And you guessed it, it's another Patek. $7.7 .7 million. With a name like Two Crown, you'd expect a watch fit for royalty, and that is exactly what you get here. Royalty? Going into the Geneva watch auction, this piece, manufactured in 1953, was estimated to take in somewhere in the vicinity of $3 million. That is undoubtedly an impressive sum, but the final number blew it out of the water. While there's much to talk about with this watch, the standout feature has to be its famed Eurasia dial, with a stunning map of the continental area. Any chance we can give it a third crown? You just won the triple See crown, this, this Bob. Number six, Patek Philippe Gobi Milan Heure Universelle Reference 2523. Want to be dressed to the nines, tens, and beyond? This Patek, which sold for a cool nine million in 2019, would certainly do the trick. Dressed to the nines with your best buds. Also manufactured in 1953, it combines the immense name value of Patek with that of Italian brand Gobi. Sold by Christie's in Hong Kong at the 2019 Masterpiece Auction, this is a watch that's more than worthy of being called a masterpiece. Besides the name value, this has a blue enamel dial that screams both luxury and serenity. I really love the blue enamel disc. I love blue watches. Pardon our French, but the Heure Universelle is a très belle watch. 
Number 5. Patek Philippe Prince Mohamed Tufek A. Toussaint, reference 1518. This watch was owned by a descendant of Muhammad Ali, and we're not talking about the boxer. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Ah! The Muhammad Ali dynasty was the ruling family of Egypt and Sudan for more than a century. Prince Tufik Adil T. A. Toussaint, who passed away in 2021, had this Patek since 1951. And when it was recovered, it reportedly looked good as new. To find one that has virtually never been serviced, never been polished, it has the same proportions that it left the factory with, it, it's remarkable. Manufactured in 1948, it was expected to take up to $2.2 million. But it more than quadrupled that highest estimated auction at Sotheby's in New York, bringing in a whopping $9.6 million. Besides being owned by a member of a royal dynasty, this watch is also one of the very few chronographs or watches with a stopwatch feature from Patek. Hey! I know what a chronograph is! <laughs> Number 4. Patek Philippe Stainless Steel Reference 1518 And just like that, we have another Stainless Steel 1518, one of only four ever made. It's rare. Expectations were high for this piece, as it was the only one of the four that hadn't yet been up for auction. And it more than met those expectations. Stainless steel is definitely the most low-key in terms of looks, but of course also the rarest. In fact, it set a new record for a wristwatch at an auction when it was sold at the 2016 Geneva Watch Auction. But while that's since been broken, $11.1 million is certainly nothing to sneeze at. You just won $11 million! Manufactured in 1943, these watches were said to have been made for the King of Iraq. And we can say that they are absolutely fit for a king, queen, or other ruler. While the unknown recipient may or may not have been royalty, they undoubtedly look divine. Number 3. Rolex Paul Newman Daytona Reference 6239 Stop the presses, we have a different watch manufacturer. Of course, if it's not Patek, who else could it be besides Rolex? My ring chain and my Rolex when I'm flexing. This watch, manufactured in 1968, was owned by none other than renowned actor Paul Newman, who received it from his wife Joanne Woodward. And given that it took in an A-list worthy $17.8 million at Philips in New York, it's clear the late Oscar winner's name still has plenty of cachet. The Rolex Cosmograph Daytona wasn't a bestseller when it debuted in 1963, but worn on the wrist of Paul Newman, it became the epitome of cool. It's also a piece with serious flair. The distinct dial, noted for its Art Deco style, is a relatively rare design. Newman actually gave the watch to daughter Nell's then-boyfriend James Cox in 1984. An incredible actor, race car driver, philanthropist, and a generous gift giver? Paul Newman was truly a legend. It's a small price to pay for beauty. Number 2. Patek Philippe Henry Graves Super Complication Reference 198385 you might associate pocket watches with frantic rabbits and cartoons. I'm late. I'm late. It's a very important date. But they can have plenty of real-world value. However, none so far have beat this one, manufactured in 1933. And it certainly lives up to its name. In watch terms, a complication refers to any attribute past basic time display. So how many does the super complication have? Try 24. The title of Super Complication was bestowed by Patek Philippe itself on the original Certificate of Origin. We're not going to list them all, but they include a chronograph, a perpetual calendar, and an alarm. And appropriately, it took in $24 million at Sotheby's in New York. We should probably also mention its 18 karat gold design. Its namesake, Henry Graves Jr., allegedly had it commissioned to one-up the pocket watch owned by auto titan James Ward Packard. Now that is what we call deliciously petty. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Patek Philippe Grandmaster Chime Reference 6300A-010 is it any wonder that the top watch on this list is a Patek? I am shocked! Shocked! Well, not that shocked. The most expensive watch to date by a substantial margin, this Grandmaster Chime is, well, absolutely grand. 
bringing in a colossal $31 million at only watch in 2019. It was made to commemorate the 175th anniversary of the iconic brand. I've often mentioned Patek being in a league of their own. Well, this demonstrated quite uh, bluntly nothing comes close, and I doubt we will see anything come close anytime soon. And while it might not be a super complication in name, it's certainly one in practice. It has 20 complications, more than any other wristwatch. Its stainless steel design and undeniable pizzazz further help explain how it pulled in such an astonishing sum. Will another watch break this record? We're not sure, but we're guessing it'll be a Patek. It's incredibly accurate. Every time you look at it, it tells you exactly how rich you are. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.